we have this new crisis in in Africa, especially in Niger. In your opinion, what's missing in in Africa? What they're looking for? They're looking for the Soviet pattern of development, not the European or American pattern of development. The difference between the two is that the Europeans and the Americans will roll in uh, with their own people, with their own companies, uh, exploit the resources, export them pretty much for, for nothing, pay off the local elites, basically corrupt them politically, ignore the local people. Uh, and once the resources have been uh, produced out, they leave. And uh, that has been the, the pattern with everybody from Saudi Arabia, where basically um, Saudi Aramco is, is staffed with foreign engineers, uh, not Saudi engineers, uh, to Niger, where the French basically uh, make some pretense of, of, uh, of uh, employing locals, but really it's, it's, it's all French, it's all French owned. Uh, and they treat it as their property. Now, that's that's the Western pattern of quote-unquote development, whereas the Russians, when, when they start working with a country, they want that country, its own people, to develop their own resources to their own benefit. So they build schools, they build hospitals, they, they build sports arenas. Uh, uh, the schools operate in a way that allows the most promising students to go to Russia on full scholarship and, and learn a profession or a trade and then go back to their country and practice it. There are systems of apprenticeship uh, for people who want to work developing the country. Uh, and, and so when the Russians develop a country, they develop the people of the country, not just the natural resources. And Africans want that. They want that model. They they don't they don't want uh, some white master swooping down on them, robbing them, and and then uh, and then leaving leaving them with nothing. You know, it's been the pattern in Africa that when when the white people leave, suddenly um, all sorts of things start failing. You know, uh, power goes out, uh, desalination plants stop running. Because none of the locals know how to run this stuff because they haven't been taught, because it hasn't been seen as necessary. Uh, the pattern has been pay off the, the elites among the locals, the, the little local kings, etc., corrupt them, and, and uh, leave the rest of the country in a lurch. Um, if, if that starts failing, then start arming different groups against each other, provoke a civil war. And then once that's run its course, then you can go back in and continue developing resources as before. Um, and none of the Africans want that anymore. We know that Victoria Nuland is there in Niger. They're, they're trying to negotiate with these military commanders. If I'm not mistaken, there are seven U.S. military bases in Niger. I don't know if they were expecting this coup in Niger or not, but it seems to me that they couldn't do anything about it. I don't think it can actually do anything except fly drones, which are, well, if you want to assassinate people, sure. But other than that, I'm not sure what they're good good for. And there's there was even a, a skirmish, a military skirmish between uh, the Nigerian military and the French, uh, a border skirmish. They the, the French actually invaded. Uh, I don't know how far that's that's going to go. And and the big fear that the Europeans and the Americans have is that Niger has struck a deal with Putin. And if things get a little bit out of hand, then suddenly Wagner Wagner is going to show up. And then everybody will run for their lives because at this point they're so scary that nobody really wants to mess with them at all. Also, it must be noticed that a lot of the neighboring countries are on Niger's side. And the various other countries, like Nigeria, that are on the west side are so ridiculously corrupt that uh, it is unlikely 
that they're going to actually put something effectual together. Yeah, they'll they'll steal the money that's allocated to the purpose, but who knows whether anything will come of it. Thank you.